Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the X-Card for SMS marketing. But before we start, hurry up and check out their software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be going into SMS marketing and you're wondering, is the X-Card up here is a good platform for you? So we'll be discussing their platform, their plans, and some of the features that they offer. So currently, we are in the official website for TechScar here, which is TechScarAppCom. Now, from their website, as you can see, we have the login and get demo option at the top right. So the great thing about this platform is you could actually sign up for a demo and just uh, try out their platform and just see how it actually looks like. Now, in this case, before we do that, we need to get a few details here. So in this case, uh, this is the homepage for tech cards although it's going to give you a lot of details about itself like the growth revenue that you could get the features that they offer and all those details so they also have different tools that you could get and you could even add other tools that might not be immediately available within the platform itself through the installation of different apps now in this case when we go to features here so you have the following we have sms marketing card recovery campaigns campaign planner uh, planner analytics and a lot more which are all tools that are really helpful whenever you're uh, doing like if you want to really connect with your audience or your market now in this case we also have industries here that could actually benefit from the platform itself so we have fashion apparel beauty and cosmetics food and beverage so home decor and furniture and a lot more so if you're within this uh, type of industries then you might want to consider using Dexcart app here now we also have partners here which in this case uh, you could basically see agencies uh, tech partners here just to give you an idea so they also have the great thing about this one is they also have affiliates here which in this case you can earn like 15% recurring commissions with tax cart so yeah we also have the uh, option for agencies here as you can see right now uh, they are affiliated or in this case uh, they are with or they are working with Hawk Media here, Ac Emmy and a lot more and these are their partners which is something really cool here. Now let's go ahead and go back in here. Now in this case what is the pricing for TextCart here? Well, the thing here is they have a bunch of plans that you can get here that have specific uh, types of features they could leverage from. So as an example, we have starter here, which is around $29 per month, but you could actually use this for 14 days for a free trial. So they have the following uh, features that you could get here, like 15% of generated sales, uh, 0 0.2 uh, cents for SMS. So MMS is around 0 0.06 and they have AR powered SMS card recovery. Now, as you can see, the starter plan here is actually quite powerful already since uh, well, considering it's a starter plan. But if you want to get the uh, more advanced features that they have, they have the growth pro and enterprise, which in this case, they have $79, $199 and $499 here. But uh, yeah, so how do we get started here? So first is you need to create your account. So in this case, uh, you could basically get a demo first just to try things out. So you go and click on get the demo here. And from here, you need to provide all the necessary details here. So that includes your first name, last name, email address, phone number, website, and all the usual information that you need to sign up here. So once you've uh, done that, you could go and click on book a demo here and it will guide you in the process on getting your demo. But in this case, since I already have my account here, let's go ahead and discuss what are the things that you could do within the actual platform. So first is going to be the home page here. So by the way, the left panel here contains more of uh, most of the tools that you have. So like what we saw before, we have card recovery, which is something really great if you want to recover some of the abandoned cards that is related. Like for example, you have a Shopify store that has abandoned cards. Well, you can, in this case, you could actually recover that and uh, basically increase the chances of people actually buying those products. We also have inbox. Uh, contains our images, uh, our messages, campaigns, our campaign planner here, flows, pop-ups, analytics, trust hub, and marketplace. So we'll be discussing all of those uh, later on. So let's go ahead and discuss the basics first. 
So homepage actually contains more on the general information that you have. So this is actually consolidated information from your account that includes your total revenue that is from your analytics. So we have the setup process here. So you could actually set up your account here. So usually if there are some missing information, you just need to complete the finish setting up section here and just follow the on screen steps for you to finish that. Now, you also have the recommended next steps here, which in this case allows you to create a campaign, check your automations, and other stuff here. So, if you want to access your settings, you could go to the left side here or left panel. You have settings here, and you can change a few things here. So, for example, you can change your account uh, details, your company or your company details here, shipping details, and a lot of those. You have your selected uh, personas, you have your term policies here, consent form if you want to set those. You also have messaging here. So, in this case, these are uh, the default details that you could get. You could change for your messaging, your numbers, your quiet hours. You could also get, or in this case, set your discounts here. So in this case, we have the discount type, the value that you could actually, uh, this specific discount has. So if you want to create a new discount, you can go and click on create new disc uh, code here, and you could just basically add your code name. So for example, you want to tailor it to your store. So for example, your name and 50. So if you're getting like 50% on a specific product, uh, you could go ahead and type the discount type here, maybe percent off, fixed amount, or free shipping, and the value for the actual discount here. So you could go and create your discount via this section here. Now, you could also set users here. So in this case, if you want to add different users that could actually access the account. So we have for the first name, last name, their email, and whether they are an admin or a marketer. So depending on what role you set here, they will have the capacity to change a few things. Like for a marketer, they can actually access the SMS marketing tools, including campaigns, keywords, billing details, and more. But if you set this to admin, they can actually delete users and more on the admin stuff since you've set them as admin. So marketer is just the common access that you could give your worker so if you want to have them access your marketing tools so yeah we also have the billing here if you want to basically uh, get some plans into it so if you are uh, the history that you have in your account if you cancel some of the uh, plans that you have right now but yeah now in this case uh, you also have the option to change your account settings go by going to the top right here same thing with settings at the bottom left it, when you go to account settings it will redirect you to the settings page here now, in the top right here, you also have the billing, which is the uh, fastest way to get your billing here if you want to immediately change that or manage your plans. You could also go to your Shopify admin. You could go to your store, and you can even visit affiliates here if you uh, want to sign up as an affiliate, which is an additional source for you to leverage within their platform. Now, in this case, we also have the option to change this to dark mode. So if you're used to having this, your screen in dark mode here, as you can see, it's, l it's less uh, bright on the eyes here if you prefer this. But yeah, so in this case, what are the tools here? So the tools are we have cart recovery. So cart recovery, again, well, like I said before, allows you to recover cart from your store so when people actually add items in their cart and they actually don't actually check that out it's called an abandoned cart so in this case this actually allows you to recover some of the abandoned carts or potentially recover those and increase or in this case allow people to or remind people to actually buy those items like hey you have something on your cart you might want to check this out and yada yada so yeah, so in this case, uh, you could basically uh, do this. So if you want to learn more how to actually use cart recovery, you could go and click on how it actually works by clicking on this button. Now we also have orders here. We have the conversion. So in this case, all orders that were recovered. So we also have the conversions. Uh, we have the knowledge base here. And uh, yeah, so knowledge base is a great way for you to basically uh, view a few things, or in this case, learn a few things about your cart recovery here. So yeah. We also have inbox here which actually contains some of the uh, messages that you send out. So if you want to view them, this is where you'll view them. But currently, this is yet in their coming soon section. So make sure to watch for that out. Uh, we also have campaigns here which allows you to basically start sending out those uh, text messages out there. So you need to create a campaign for you to uh, send out messages. Now, we also have segments here, which in this case allows you uh, to see uh, different uh, people or in this case, your market so in different segments. Then we also have lists here. So your list actually contains your 
prospects. So these are potential customers that you have right now. Also have tags here. So if you want to manage your tags that you've set for your uh, market. So for example, if you set a tag for a specific uh, person, you can basically uh, immediately search for uh, people or those uh, type of people through tags here if you've added tags into them. Now we also have the campaign planner here, which in this case allows you to, uh, from the name itself, allows you to plan your uh, campaign. So you can actually choose from different templates here. So we have the option to customize the following. So you have New Year's, Easter Day, uh, Father's Day, and all of those. But you could basically create your own campaign by clicking on Create SMS Campaign later on, which I'll be showing you. Now, we also have flows here, which in this case is still on their coming soon uh, page. So make sure to watch for that out later on. We also have pop-ups here. On this case, uh, this is a great for you to uh, basically add pop-ups into your store. So if you want to use that, we also have analytics, which contains most of the information that you need. So in this case, if your, uh, your total revenue, your attribute revenue, SMS receive, SMS total here, and SMS that you've set. So basically, this is a hub for viewing different information about your account or how you're doing right now, how your store is doing. So yeah, we also have insights here. So in Insights, it actually contains a graph of different details that you have right now, like order overview, average AOV, sales by country, sales by gender. So this one is really helpful because you'll know which, uh, or which country or what details or what specific market that you need to focus on or improve on. So as you can see, in my case, USA is actually pretty big here, which is around 13,000 uh, sale, total sales here. And if you, uh, for example, if you want to focus on Australia, improve your sales on that, uh, this is how you see or know that uh, you're not doing pretty good. You might want to change your strategy for that specific country. So yeah, we also have flows here, what, what we saw before, but then again, it's still coming soon. We also have our subscribers, the people that are currently subscribed to your account. We also have our campaigns in analytics here, which in this case, are some details about our campaigns and some reports that you could actually view here if you want to. Now, we also have Trust Hub here, which contains some information on how compliant are you uh, with the, uh, the following uh, SMS marketing space. So in this case, uh, you could actually ensure that you're 100% compliant with the rules and regulations that governs uh, the SMS marketing space. So this is especially helpful so that your account won't get banned. So yeah, make sure to check this out from time to time just to make sure that you're pretty compliant uh, with the rules and regulations. Now we also have Marketplace here, which actually um, allows you to add different apps. So for example, if you want to add Zen Drop here, Absol, subscription app, cart hook, and a lot more. So any features that is not yet included into TextCart can actually be added through different apps that you could actually install into your account. Now, how do we create our campaigns? Well, in this case, you go and click on create SMS campaign at the top right here. And from here, you just need to provide all the SR details. So that includes the campaign name, the included audiences, uh, the text message or the actual message that you want to say. We also have these short codes here. So like discount URL, discount code that you want to maybe add in here. And you also have the A and B testing here. So in this case, actually split test messaging and images across your campaign. So if you want to test out your campaign first. Now, if you want to schedule this for a later date, like for example, schedule this like three or uh, two days in advance or in specific day, you can go and do that as well here. We also have smart sending. So in this case, uh, if you use smart sending, 1,800 subscribers who have received a message within your 16 hour smart sending window will be excluded from this set. So if you want to use smart sending here, so in this case, uh, it uh, actually allows you to use it. Now, we also have the follow-up with customers who haven't ordered. So if you want to follow up on people that hasn't ordered, like in the last 24 hours, you could go and do that. But if you want to cancel that, you could go and click on it. Now, in this case, you could go and choose browse templates here. Of course, just type in your message if you want to. But once you're done, just click on review campaign here, and you are now ready to release your campaign. And that's about it. So if you want to learn more about their videos or specific things that you want to do or features that you might want to uh, uh, visit or know, you can actually visit their YouTube channel, which is TextCart here or at TextCart on YouTube. But uh, yeah, so um, 
If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.